good day everyone this is promise kawai your social media boss your web designer your graphics designer and your tutor welcome to today's tutorial in today's tutorial we'll be talking or we'll be learning how to create a launch flyer suppose you want to create a flyer for a product maybe you want to launch a product and you want to create a flyer i'll be showing us using canva how to create um a launch flyer for any of your products but in this case i'll be using a website as a case study as an example so in this tutorial i will teach us how to design a launch flyer for your website so stay tuned to this tutorial thank you so if this is your first time of coming to the channel please like the video please subscribe and also turn on your notifications so that you can get further videos now let's go straight into the tutorial first we are going to open our canva app um i believe we all know what canva is now canva is a design application that you can use to do many things and um, you can get the app from the play store and um, you can also download it on your phone you can also use the web based application all you need to do is just go to canva.com and you'll be able to access the same thing you are seeing on the app so we are going to choose a size i like going with the instagram post size for flyers because um i basically i would basically post all these flyers on my instagram but nevertheless i like going for the instagram post you can go for whatever size you want to go for but today we are going to be using the instagram post size so now um we've loaded um the instagram post size first thing first we'll be picking up frames let's go We'll be searching under elements please go to under elements then you look for frames frames search frames under elements you search frames now frames is being opened so now i told you i'll be doing a launch flyer for a website so basically all the things you are going to need for a website to showcase or to feel that you are launching a flyer for a website would be something that portrays a website so what portrays a website you will see that mobile phones portray websites laptop and um tab so i'm going to be using these three elements from the frames so i'm going to pick the laptop first i enlarge it to the size i want then i go again i pick the mobile phone i'm going to pick the mobile phone now I pick the mobile phone okay I decrease it because this is the size I want I put it by the side there and I'm going to pick the tab this is the tab so I'll pick the tab mm, I'm going to decrease it too and um, I think here yeah, is okay I'm going to put it here so I think this is okay for me okay so first thing first the websites i'm doing this launch flyer for is um get things now um it's an e-commerce based website where you can register your products and put your things so this is their logo get things now so i'm going to decrease it and um i would centralize it yeah this is it get things now so this is their logo and um if you are doing a launch flyer first thing first we are going to change the image on the laptop let me replace it and like i used to tell you guys before i start something i already have this all the objects all the pictures that i'm going to use so i've uploaded it here on canva already so this is the web page for getthingsnow.com so i'm using it for the laptop do you understand so for the phone i'm going to pick the phone i'm going to replace i'm going to use one of these 
56 and then for the tab i'm going to use another home page of the get things now so now we see we've done something exciting but we are not finished yet so i'm going to be going to elements again i'm just doing a simple a simple launch flyer let's say pass it for a for a website so now i want to make it more beautiful so i'm going to pick this and um i'll extend it and um i'll centralize it okay i want to use it like this i'll centralize it so now i want the color to be um yellow because the logo has this kind of yellow vibes so i'm going to pick it yellow then i'll position it to go to the back backwards to the back yes this is how i want it i want it to just give it that feel i don't want it to be empty or scanty do you understand uh -huh. i don't want it to be empty or scanty so this pad looks like the tab rather it's also a pad the tab rather looks like it's down very very down so i'm trying to adjust it upwards so i'm using the nudge button then you can adjust it upwards i think it looks okay this way so next thing is um the text so i'm going to pick the text and like i said get things now is an e-commerce website you can register your product and they would promote your products for free so you register as a vendor then you upload the images of your products then that is all the website the admins the people in charge of this website will promote your products for free so um i'm going to be writing the text here we are live let me put an exclamation mark we are live so i think i would put the font size to be 50. i like trying 50 effects first because that is my ideal font size we are alive see saying we are alive so i think with what i'm saying this will still have to go up because there are some certain things i would love to put so now i want to move all these things you understand but i don't want to move them one by one so what you can do is you try to group there's something they call group on canva so you just group them i'll select multiple i'll select this again then i'll select the small phone then i'll select the background so now i'll group everything so once you've grouped them you can actually move everything together upwards you see upwards center and that's all so now this one we are live upwards to a little bit so now i want to put a small text like like a subheading text so i don't know what we are going to write here and yeah, but let me just write something your number one e-commerce website is now live register your products now so i think this is okay register your products now so then i want to decrease the size i'm definitely going to decrease the size this is this is way really big so let's see let me decrease the size where is the font size um let's see let me give you 25 25 is okay yeah now we extend again I want to extend it 
<laughs> so we are live so i think this is a simple launch flyer but i still want to add something so let's go to i want to add the website link so let's go to our frames so we can see frames under element and let's see the ones i've previously used maybe i can see okay i've seen it instead of searching so basically you go under frames do you understand and you pick this exact one this exact one so i'm going to make it smaller this is the size i want so i made it smaller the color i want to change it to yellow not yellow per se but gold so i'll also i'll change everything to gold that's how i want to do it then i'll duplicate this because i want to make it very long i want to duplicate it so i'm duplicating it yes so this second one i would like to make it white white yes white i like to make it white wow and then i'll still also like to make everything white i have my reasons for making it white um so i'm still going to duplicate this extend it again and then let's say i'll make it ah okay this time let me rotate it So I've rotated it. So let me change the color to gold. No, let me leave that one as white. Then I'll change the second one to gold. So I think this is okay like this. So I'm going to write something. I'm going to write something. I want to duplicate this and edit it. My phone is kind of slow. Okay, so let me just edit it. So this is us. I want to write sit us and I'll centralize it here. So I'm going to make it bold. I want to make it bold. Visit us. Then I'll duplicate it. So I'm going to write the website name here. get things now dot com so that's the name of the website get things now dot com like i said you can register for free and these people will help you promote it so like this we are set and we've done our launch flyer for the website so but i'm kind of feeling like the background is too plain so i want to change the background let me replace it i want to use something white though but i want to change the background so we are going to go under photos and we are going to search something okay let me use this white i am seeing a white that is actually nice i want to use this one so let's see how it will come up perfect it's perfect for me so all you need to do is to download your flyer like this is that you click the upload button and it will bring out some options then you click download or you click the download button straight so you will see it is downloading so thanks for staying to the end of the tutorial 
I really appreciate. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.